I thought I saw you there hiding behind those boxes. Welcome to the attic once again above Horror Hotel, otherwise known as the Mask Fan Attic, where we talk about old masks. I hope you came here uh, hoping to hear about old masks, because if you came here hoping for a geography lesson, you're sunk, because my geography is terrible. That's true. It's my worst subject. I need, I need like a GPS in my own house. You know what I need? Here's what I need. I need them to invent APS, attic positioning system. And then when I'm up here in all this junk looking for something, wouldn't it be cool if I had a little device that was for attic positioning and it would say, you know, three feet to the right of the stack of boxes of books, you know, and go left at the box of Christmas ornaments and up two feet where the old picture frame and if you see the attic, but never mind. Tonight's mask is from uh, inarguably the world's most famous and highly regarded mask manufacturing company in the history of the known universe, Don Post Studios. And it is this monstrosity called Time to Split. I don't make up the names, okay? Do I? No, see? Time to Split. Now, some people get this confused with a similar mask that came out around the same time called Let's split, but that one was different. It had a uh, bone in the middle and it had the face kind of splayed out, kind of... Well, anyway, this is time to split. And we'll just make sure. See right there? Time to split. It says right on the tag. Of course you can't see that. Anyway, uh, this mask, as you can see, represents a guy whose face is, uh, well, separating. It's sort of, sort of sort of not realistically like he's been uh, you know cleft with an axe or something like that not like he's realistically had his head chopped down the center but more like he's he's sort of separating out see into into peace into it's kind of like Star Trek wasn't it hey uh, uh, all you Star Trek fans time for your Star Trek exercises let's try this one two one two one two one. no See, it's, it's, it's spots are size. Come on, if you're trekking, it's spots are size. It's, it's, it's Vulcan aesthetics, and never mind. This guy doesn't really look like anything that would have anything to do with Star Trek, so forget I mentioned it. Now, let's see what year this mask came out, old time to split. Now, of course, if you're a uh, archaeologist or an archaeologist, if you're an archaeologist, you would use a system called carbon dating to find out how old something is, but of course, I'm not an archaeologist, I'm a maskist. Mask expert, yeah. So, so I use a, a, a device that helps me, not with carbon dating, but instead with latex dating. And we'll just analyze the mask here. And by the way, if uh, latex dating is a phrase you hear yourself using with anything like regularity, you really should uh, a get out more often and two seek professional help uh, because you really oh I, I think I think it's I think it's figured it out yep yep uh, according to uh, the mask dater and raider here uh, this is from 2008 now here's a helpful tip for uh, those of you who don't have one of those devices if you want to find out what year your mask was made uh, it says 2008 on the tag here too and it also says 2008 right on the back of the mask engraved into there it says 2008 Don Post Studios Incorporated a division of the Paper Magic Group Incorporated all rights reserved made in China that's what it says it's very small though really and um, nice mask I think because it's sort of disturbing it's very disturbing if you put it on very freaky now the castings kind of thin on this guy but calm down don't get don't get upset don't get angry the, the castings are kind of thin, but this guy sold, again, in 2008 for around $25 to $30. So this was not a big high-end, upscale, upmarket collector kind of piece. This was just a silly mask for Halloween or for the uh, haunted house, you know. And as such, I think it's very effective. One thing I like about it, which is kind of weird, is that it looks almost identical to a drawing that I did uh, shortly before that time. Is it okay to say almost identical? Does that sound stupid to say almost identical? Is it like either it's identical or it isn't? Was that, is that like saying slightly pregnant or something? Can I say almost identical? You know what I mean, right? Like it looks 
very close, but not quite. Almost identical. Is that a legitimate turn of phrase? I don't know. It's too bad I don't know anybody that was an English major. Or any other British Army officer, for that matter. Anyhow, uh, time to split here, or as his friends call him, time, uh, comes painted pretty much like you see here, except I did touch this one up just a little bit, just a smidgen, just a bit. I put a little bit of uh, Liquitex Clear Flexible Gloss Varnish uh, on the eyes and on the bubblegum looking stuff down the center where his head is splitting open. Now, that bubblegum looking stuff there uh, clearly is not really a realistic depiction of what it would organically, realistically, naturally look like if your head was split in two. So this is almost like an expressionistic art kind of, of thing. You know, it isn't a real depiction of a split head. It's something weird and strange and surreal happening whereby a person's head is sort of uh, just, just splitting on its own accord, uh, of its own accord, or in its own accord, if he drives one of those. And if you're driving your accord today, don't wear a mask when you're behind the wheel because it affects your peripheral vision. Now, vision out of this guy is out of these little holes. I've got a piece of black felt behind them. The nostrils are trimmed out, and there are some openings down here for breathing. Uh, some people would say ventilation. That's a good word, too. And uh, that's it. Anyway, he looks, he looks so much like this drawing I did that really I would, I would be positive. I would be absolutely sure this mask was inspired by my artwork, except for one thing, and that's I'm pretty sure it's impossible that anybody in California uh, would have been able to see that drawing. I don't think anybody possibly could have, have seen it, so I think this is just a, a coincidence. Uh, the drawing I did, I don't know what became of it. It may have been on our old... Um, not website, but our uh, community. Back in the days when they had MSN communities, we had one called Horror Hotel 2002, and we left the 2002 on there long after 2002. So for years after that, uh, it was still called Horror Hotel 2002. That was the year we started the web community. But they don't have web communities anymore. That, well, I forgot to do air quotes. They don't have web communities anymore, but uh, for some years they did. The drawing might have been published there, but I, I don't even remember. I shouldn't say published, I should say, say posted, huh? So I think it was posted, but not Don posted, in other words. But uh, somebody at Don Post had a very similar idea, uh, very similar to mine, and came up with a very similarly weird and ugly and disturbing and slightly cartoony looked uh, look uh, for a guy whose head is splitting in two. And uh, time to split, really? I don't know, though, what could they have called it? Think of a better name and enter it. Enter it in the comments on your computer device when you think of a better name for it. Um, see if I can think of one here quick. How, how about splitting headache? No? You don't like that one either? Okay. Okay, I'll stop now. That's it for tonight. Drive safely.